Hello guys, it's another week and another vlog again. During the pandemic when the world stopped flying, I had the rare opportunity to operate only on cargo flights. And I'm sure you're also curious about how it looks like. So let me take you with me as I tour you around the different aircraft types used for cargo. So today, I am doing another cargo flight. This is really very exciting for me because there's no passengers and we have nothing else to do actually just to you know, check the cabin if there's any fire or something like that. So I guess I'm getting used to the cargo flights every now and then and it's going to be a very long, long week for us because um, I just came from Bangkok and in Bangkok now we're on the way to Nagoya, Japan and then from there we are going to have a layover and we're going to go to Atlanta and then Atlanta to, well we're supposed to go to Chicago after that but they just changed our roster so instead of staying in Atlanta for 24 hours we are going to stay there for another like two days before we're going to go head back to Doha. This aircraft is a Boeing 777Q suite aircraft with a capacity of 24 in the business class and 388 at the back. And as you can see, only economy seats that were wrapped with plastics and some ropes to hold on to the cargo itself. There were so many restrictions during the pandemic and most of the aircrafts got grounded. So what the airlines normally do is they just use it for cargo and that includes the cabin itself. The purpose of the plastic as well is to be able to protect the economy seats from the damage in case there are loose cargo. But you're probably also wondering why there is no cargo in the cabin. Well actually this aircraft was used for cargo and I am just taking over the aircraft. This one is another 777 Boeing aircraft that has the same capacity, however they have removed all the seats including the first row of the business class. I'm also carrying a portable oxygen since they have deactivated the oxygen unit in the whole cabin and it is a requirement for us to carry the oxygen every time we do a walk around in the cabin. Here, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the cabin. And we're starting from the forward till the aft. Now we are at the R4 galley and we are gonna go to the front this time. Since there was so much demand when it comes to cargo during the pandemic, they have managed to make some aircrafts like this. Also during cargo, there are only two crew that are required for this kind of flights and I'm very lucky that I'm always getting cargo flights during the pandemic. And apparently, most of our pilots actually didn't stop flying even during the pandemic. That is because of the cargo.
Now this is a Boeing 787-900. This is our newest aircraft that has been released in the market. Here they haven't installed yet the business class seats so I can make it as my dance floor, right? This aircraft is a little longer than the 787-800 since it has a capacity of 30 in the front and 275 at the back. The economy seats are not yet completely installed as well and as you can see it's also a very long cabin. And I want to tell you something that this is one of the aircrafts that the crew hates because it is not a well-designed aircraft. It's not a crew-friendly aircraft. And I've flown with this aircraft with a full capacity of passengers and it was like hell. Apparently, this aircraft is equipped with a bunk. That means that the crew can actually rest in here while traveling to a long haul destination. Though the galley is really big for the crew to work, However, it just doesn't fit our service. And the crew used to just stow everything either in the overhead bins or in the bunk, which is not supposed to be. Let's now go back to the forward while you can see the full view of the seats with its screen. And this is the full view of the business class cabin without the seats. And this is the galley area of the business class. And we have to make sure that all our equipments are serviceable before we take off. Also during the pandemic, we have a different process when it comes to arming and disarming the doors. And this time I'm just doing it alone. And that includes opening the door by myself. Last but not least is our Airbus 330-300. This is one of the oldest aircraft that we have in Qatar Airways. However, the seats in the business class are amazing. And this is another view of the business class cabin. The capacity of this aircraft is 30 in the front and 275 at the back. We also have a two galleys in economy cabin. We don't have anything in this aircraft, no outlet for power, no Wi-Fi on board. However, I would say this is one of the aircrafts that I would love to fly with because it's very simple but the crew can actually work properly and of course if you have nothing to offer to the customer you just say I'm sorry we don't have that and we don't have to explain anything
And that's about it. Captain wants me to sit down for a moment because it's a little turbulent. So I'm gonna sit here at L3 station. And thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time.